been shown in Egypt? I wish. <laughs> you wish, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pray. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not not, and no, no, but I, I wish it's it's really a dream for me. I hope it will show in Egypt, and, but it doesn't it, look like, but I wish. And in other uh, Arab, uh, yes, Arabic countries? Yes, it was in Tunis, the premiere, and it was just magnifique. It was fantastic. It, I I was really, uh, really worried, to, because it's been already everywhere, but in uh, Tunis, it was the first Arab country, and... Of course, it's all about uh, issues in, in our region and things that we shouldn't talk about, that I'm talking about. So it was important for me to show it in Tunis uh, after we knew that we can't um, in Egypt because half of the film is being filmed in Egypt. So I also wanted to show it, but it didn't work. And Tunis, what a fanta fantastic experience in Tunis. I mean, I, with all the love and respect for all festivals, the film it was been, but Tunis, it was the best. Really. <laughs> really, I, I, I mean, I said it uh, before and I'm saying it again, I think because of the, and I am responsible of my words and nobody else, because of the situation in Egypt now is really horrible, I think, and it's not, really easy to speak up or to do anything. I felt in Tunis is this is this is the new Arab country for us actually. This is how I felt me myself I'm talking about my feelings. Uh, not everybody the same but because I felt the people there are really really very into art and cinema and culture and thirsty for it and want it and like it and they support it and it's something is in the country. It's only I stayed four days, but you, maybe you can't judge from my mouth, but this is how, how I felt, and it was just great. I mean, the three screening, they were sold out, people react uh, to the film, amazing. Not only my film, they were lined up for all, most of the films. So this is why I felt like, oh, maybe Tunis, this is the new window for us as, as Arab artists or filmmakers or new voices. That's, this is what I felt. May, may, maybe the next country for you? If, uh, <laughs> I actually said that, uh, uh, even my children said it too, I could live in Tunis easy. <laughs> I felt I am home in these four days, like really more than home. I had fantastic experience also in the street, just being in the street with this wonderful woman that I, I didn't know and I, I just asked her where I can have a cup of coffee in the sea and uh, she said, where are you from? I said, I'm from Palestine. She said, well, you're going to have the cup of coffee with me. And she took me all over Tunis. I mean, we, we were four hours together and I didn't even know her. She made me taste Tunis. And I was so much looking forward to, to be there and it went wonderful. And if I want to choose somewhere to live, I think I will choose Tunis. <laughs> Uh, and for you, uh, Eli, um, yeah. have we screened yet? In uh, in Lebanon, in Lebanon, or no. other uh, Arabic <laughs> countries? Uh, we had the premiere in uh, in Egypt at Laguna Film Festival. I can't say it was as exciting as the experience in Tunis because uh, we had lots of technical difficulties in the in both screenings and also like the the festival is quite far from any city so you don't have that kind of engagement sort of with like actual audience of people who sort of live in the city like in cairo and big cities so it was a bit of a of a different experience on that level but um hopefully we can do a screening in beirut soon we haven't been able to yet because uh like the only cinema that shows sort of independent films closed down now they're doing different screenings in different art centers but not in actual uh, movie theaters and tickets are super expensive. So also like it's become kind of an elitist thing to go to the cinema now. And so it's a bit of a weird territory. And uh, wh what about the Lebanese people from here, from in Belgium? Did you meet someone? Yeah. Uh? yeah, well, yeah, okay. So yeah, we haven't screened in Lebanon, but in a lot of the screenings we had lots of Lebanese audience actually. Uh, we screened here at Palace on Saturday. And I think maybe like 20% of the audience was Lebanese, and also when we screened in London, it was maybe half Lebanese, um, which, been, which has been really, really great. Um, also very emotional. Uh, for example, the, the screening we had in, in London at the BFI uh, it was a day where there was a very violent shooting in Beirut, and in the film there's 
some references to to feeling hopeless towards those things. Uh, and everybody in the audience was very like on edge. Uh, so it was strangely like therapy for for everybody to sort of connect on on this level. And it was the same also on, on Saturday here. There was this uh, young woman that spoke of her <clears throat> of experience. She just moved recently to Brussels from Beirut in the last year and how she she kind of lost her home in a way unwillingly because she had to leave. But at the same time, she's meeting people here and trying to sort of engage in normal life. But at the same time, she's not really engaged with anything. And she felt, you know, kind of lost and could identify with the character as well. So it's it's very moving, but also it's very difficult because we're all also going through this ourselves. Like I, <clears throat> I had lived abroad and moved back to Beirut uh, a few years ago. And now sort of everybody's faced with the idea of like, do we stay, do we go, like what's, you know, like Manal Aisa, who plays the main character, left in September. Uh, so when we were touring as well, the festival and watch the film with the audience, it's like a very, it's very, it's very close to home, basically, the film. So it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.